Well, health officials in Southern California are reporting more than 350 cases of a rare superbug called CRKP right now. So how concerned should people be about this? Our chief health medical editor, Dr. Richard Besser, joins us with that. So how worried should we be about this, Rich? You know, people hear the term superbug and they get alarmed. And, and this is one of those cases where I, th I think there should be some alarm. I, I spent seven years at the Centers for Disease Control working on resistant infections. And it's like we're locked in a battle. You know, we develop new drugs to treat these infections and, and the germs change to get around those drugs. And this is one of those cases. And how dangerous is this superbug? Well, this one is, is very dangerous. It tends to affect people who are in the hospital for long periods of time, people who have underlying medical medical problems, people who've been in nursing homes. Uh, it can be very fatal. 40% of people with this infection wow. in, some, in some cases die, uh, people who are on ventilators. So it's v one we need to take very seriously. So what are the symptoms? What should people be looking for? Well, it can cause a variety of infections. So it, it can cause pneumonia, especially on mm -hmm. people on ventilators. It can cause bloodstream infections. Hospitals need to be looking for, looking for it. So when they look at the germ, they have to do special tests to see, is this bug resistant to these infections. And in many cases, the, you may be down to only one antibiotic that works. So what can we do? Well, I think there are a number of things. A lot of it comes down to hospitals. They need to make sure that healthcare workers aren't spreading it from patient to patient. That's mainly what takes place. As a, as a loved one of someone who's in the hospital, you have to be vigilant. You know, when you're sitting there with your relative, if anyone comes in and wants to touch your relative without washing their hands, you have to say something because that will make a difference. It'll make sure, because in some of these cases when they look, mm -hmm. people aren't washing their hands. And it does come down to simple things like that, making sure that no one is bringing a germ to someone you care about. How about these germs going elsewhere? How about them spreading beyond where they are right now and how they're contained? Well, you know, luckily this doesn't go to healthy people. So it's something that, that nursing homes have to be watching for, hospitals need to be watching for. Uh, but it's, it's like an arms race. And in many cases, the, the germs are winning. Yeah, because it's in Southern California right now and there's concern that it could spread elsewhere. That's right. There are New York hospitals that have problems, North Carolina hospitals. It's not limited to California. All right, Rich, thanks so much. Have a good weekend. Or as you are now known as Dr. B. Dr. B. That's it. <laughs> That's right. All right. <laughs>